Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about the list view control, which is something that we have not used, and it's something that you'll be using in your homework. I think you'll really like it. It's a lot more versatile than the list box. So just to demo the list view control, I'm going to add a few courses to my schedule. So let me just grab these top four here. Okay, so now I'm going to view the schedule, and this is what I mean by the list view. And um, we have, uh, I'm going to, I'll just check a couple of courses and remove them. So easy to work with. Um, I'll show you some of the code here, but also I want to show you how to set up the list view in the designer. So let me exit that. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the, first of all, the list view is going to be, if you see me over here in the toolbox, you can just draw one of these on your form. And um, you're going to want to set a few properties. Uh, for example, I believe, let me alphabetize this. There's a, um, hmm, I probably should have, oh, yeah, you know what? Okay, th this one, the checkboxes. In this particular uh, um, demo, the checkboxes property is set to true. The default there is false. So if you want to see those checkboxes, you have to set that to true. This is the, um, the, the one that is most uh, interesting here, the columns property. This is a collection, so I'm going to open this up. And what I've done is I've just added, you can just add columns very easily to the list box. So I have the course name. I, you probably don't even have to name the actual columns or change the name property, but this one, for example, I called it COL name, and this is for the course name column. And all you have to do is change the text property. I think on the course name, the meeting times, and the instructor, I, I widened it to 175 pixels. The default is 80. You can go with the default on the location and the credit hours. So really just the text property and the width property. And um, so you can add your five columns, and um, then you're pretty much ready to work with your list view. And I'll show you some of the code here. Uh, first, I will mention, um, up at here at the top, I have a, this is, like the whole point of this assignment is sharing data between forms. And the data that you're sharing is the student's schedule. The student is selecting a schedule on Form 1, adding courses to a list of type course, and then you're passing that list of type course into this form, either with a tag property or over by overloading this form's constructor. It's up to you. But um, what's happening here is that student schedule, is, uh, which is a list of type course, is ending up in this form, this second form, in, in the um, variable called schedule, all right? So with that in mind, in my form load, I can um, just use a for each or whatever, a standard or classic for loop would, would do to any, any kind of loop. Just loop through that schedule and um, and populate the list view. Now, populating a list view control is a little more complex than populating a list box, okay? So let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so for each, the, I'm doing this for every course in that list. What you do is you create like a little temporary array of type string. And here I'm just like killing two birds with one stone. I'm creating the array and populating it on the spot. And I'm populating it with the course name, the meeting time, the location, credit hours, and the instructor. Okay. I'm being mindful of the order of the columns too. Like look at course name, meeting time, location, credit hours, instructor. That is the same order that I'm going by here. So order matters here. Okay, so once I have this little array of strings, I'm going to create a list view item. And as I'm creating that item, I'm passing the little array of five strings to this new object. So now I have a list view item, and I'm home free. I would add that item, which I've, I've called LVI for short, for list view item. Adding that item to the list view, which in this case I called LSTV schedule. That's the name of it. That's this. Okay, that's the, the list view control on the form. And that's it. That'll get the item into the list view. And that's that. In, in this example, I'm also like dealing with the credit hours and updating the credit hours. That you can handle. 
So um, that's the adding the items to the list view. Let me talk about removing. Okay, so we have, um, I have a four each here. And um, the way this works, the user can check multiple items and, uh, and then remove all of them in one shot. And so that's what we're doing in this case. So we have, um, I'm just, again, going through this with a for each. You can use a regular for loop as well. And uh, we have, first of all, I'm, I'm dealing with the credit hours. In this assignment, you want to update the credit hours as the, the user is removing items from the list. And this is kind of interesting. We have the, the little, this is the for each variable. I'm calling the list view item i. So i um, dot sub items three, sub items refers to the columns, the columns collection. And number three refers to the fourth item there because it's a zero base numbering system. So that's zero, one, two, three. And that's how we get sub items three. So that's how you can pinpoint a specific value in a specific column in the list view. Item, in, the, in the list view. So um, the thing is though, all of these uh, items, anything, that is in this list view is stored as text, even those numbers, the credit hours. So that's why I have to parse it as it's coming through if I want to do math with it, like I'm doing here. I'm just subtracting it from the, the total credit hours in this case. So that's something that you'll have to do. I am going to post this code available in Canvas as well, so you can uh, have the code typed out. And um, then at that point, I'm going to, after I've done the credit hour thing, then I, I'm ready to actually remove the item. And that's it. You're just like zipping through the, the, the checked items in a, in a for each or some kind of loop and just removing them one at a time. But again, it's important that you do the credit hours before you remove that item. Because once you remove that item, it's gone and its credit hours are gone and you can't subtract them from the total. So uh, make sure you, you don't get the order wrong there. And that's that. So um, as I said, I'll, I'll post this code for you. Hopefully you'll enjoy working with the list view control. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I, I am going to remind you of this in your homework assignment instructions. But uh, this is my course object. And it's just a regular class, nothing exciting at all. But I do want to mention, put the public uh, access specifier before the class name. And I said, I'm going to remind you this too, but if you don't do that, you, you might get what is called an inaccessible or um, inconsistent, inconsistent accessibility error. And I don't expect you to remember that, but um, you, it's, it, just take my word and then put public before the, the class name so you don't have to bother, uh, be bothered by that error. Okay, that's it.